In spite of her friend's warnings, Sarah simply brushed the allegations aside. Though they begged her to leave, she continued to stay to prove them wrong. These claims were not supported by any evidence. Soon, Sarah decided to investigate the nagging worries in order to put them to rest. Derek and Sarah Thompson had always dreamed of having a large family. Sarah and David were delighted when Sarah became pregnant and couldn't wait to welcome their daughter. When Sarah stared out at her beautiful garden in her dream house in Sacramento, she thought everything was perfect. Everything around them changed when Maddie was born. After starting a new job and caring for their daughter, Maddie, now four, Sarah wasn't managing. Their decision to get help was motivated by the fact that both of them were working. Their new nanny, Melissa, would provide the help they needed. Her schedule was to arrive every morning and leave at 5 p.m. when both Sarah and Direct were finished with their work. It wasn't long before Melissa became a problem for them. Melissa seemed to be the perfect candidate for the job when she interviewed. Throughout the interview, she answered every question cheerfully and provided lots of glowing references. Moreover, Maddie loved her, and soon they were getting along like a house on fire. It was impossible to split them apart. Derek assured Sarah that she was the right candidate, even though she had some doubts. It wasn't long before cracks started to appear in the happy household. As a young woman in her two zeros, Melissa was naturally beautiful. She was tall, blonde, and had an athletic figure that attracted a lot of men. In spite of the fact that she is in the early stages of pregnancy, she assured them that it would not affect her work at all. As a result of her pregnancy, Sarah was still carrying some extra weight. Seeing Melissa in shorts and crop tops made her feel insecure because her figure was no longer what it used to be. It wasn't too bothersome until Sarah saw something she regretted. Melissa took over after Sarah left at 9 a.m. every morning. Immediately after that, she would prepare breakfast for Maddie and get to work on the day's activities. Melissa could knock on Derek's office door if she needed anything since he worked from home. The Thompson residence became more complicated at this point. To make sure things were going well in the house, Sarah would call Derek every day. Every time the call was made, noises were always heard in the background. Surely Maddie had been playing around, thought Sarah. When she heard a gable one day, she knew it wasn't her daughter. At first, she thought nothing of it. But then, Derek quickly apologized, saying he had to leave. The sound sounded like a woman giggling. Was she interpreting this too literally? Or were her husband and the new Manny becoming too friendly? Getting to the bottom of it was the only option. It was time for lunch, so Sarah went home. Because she was only interested in seeing if anything was going on, she didn't tell Direct. The moment she stepped through the front door, she saw Maddie playing with dolls on the floor of the living room. Is there a reason why Melissa didn't watch her? As she called for her, a door slammed and someone ran away. In a rush, Melissa came in looking disheveled and flustered. Her face turned red when she saw Sarah at home. Her voice rose to a high pitch when she began talking to Sarah. My apologies, but I just had to quickly pack Maddie's laundry into the washing machine. She was alone for only a moment, I promise. Sarah wasn't convinced. Sarah looked at Melissa suspiciously as she quickly hurried to get to Maddie. She then made her way to Derek's office. She knocked on the door and was surprised to hear him utter the words, Come in, naughty girl. Sarah went in and the look on Derek's face said it all. He had not expected to see his wife. I hope you're referring to me, was all Sarah could muster up. She was embarrassed because she never heard Derek talk like that before. He got up, clearly embarrassed himself, and sheepishly offered an explanation. I was actually referring to Maddie. She's been coming over to my office and knocking on the door all the time. It's a little game we play. Sarah didn't know if she was relieved or even more suspicious. Sarah spent the whole day overthinking the whole situation. What was going on? She hadn't seen Melissa and her husband interact before, so she couldn't make assumptions. It was then that she decided to call Melissa and tell her to stay for dinner that night. This would be the perfect way to see if there was anything going on between them. When Sarah got home, she was so exhausted that she regretted inviting Melissa for dinner. She just wanted to have a sandwich and relax on the couch. But she would be greeted by an unusual sight. The kitchen was abuzz with activity. 
Melissa had cooked a whole meal for all of them, including dessert. Maybe Sarah had misjudged the whole situation. She even set the table with several candles lit all around the house. It looked amazing and Sarah was pleased to be coming home to such a relaxing atmosphere. Maddie was thrilled and couldn't contain her excitement at getting her own special meal that was made just for her. Derek was seated at the head of the table and was beaming from ear to ear. It seems Melissa was out to impress the family. As they sat down to eat, Sarah made sure to keep an eye on Melissa and Derek. She didn't notice anything between them. Everything seemed normal. There were no awkward looks or instances of accidentally touching each other. Sarah was relieved. She had been wrong, and she knew now that Melissa could be trusted. Or so she thought. As the weeks went by, Sarah was mostly content with Melissa. She was great with Maddie, and that's all that mattered to her. There hadn't been any signs that made her worry about anything in direct, was acting normal as far as she could see. She felt at ease that she had her life back on track until one morning Melissa would call her, crying in panic. Melissa was ill and needed to go to the doctor because she was having a bad stomach ache and didn't want to leave it to chance because of her pregnancy. Sarah thought it was a good idea and called direct to let him know that he had to watch Maddie for an hour so that Melissa could go. He wasn't too pleased as he was busy, but he agreed in the end. Little did Sarah know that this story would turn out to be more than she expected. As she got home, she felt so tired and just wanted to collapse on her bed. But she knew she still had to prepare dinner and spend some time with Maddie. Derek had to work a little later since he lost an hour looking after Maddie. It was time for Maddie to go to bed, and as Sarah tucked her in, she said something very confusing. Mommy, I had a good day with Daddy and Lissa today. We went to the doctor because Lissa was sick, and I got a red lollipop because I was so good. Sarah's eyes opened to the size of saucers. She was sweating and feeling how her blood began to boil. Why did her husband go to the doctor with their nanny? What was going on in her house? All the thoughts she had put to rest were suddenly bubbling up to the surface again. She kissed Maddie goodnight and made her way to their bedroom. Should she confront Derek? She couldn't without any solid evidence. She needed to investigate first, and she knew just what to do. Sarah purchased some nanny cams to install in strategic points around the house. She would get alerts of any movements that occurred. It was time to see what was really going on when she wasn't home. When she received an alert on her phone, she braced herself for what she might see. It did not disappoint. It showed Melissa walking Maddie out of her room, but Maddie was resisting. She kept pulling her hand away. Then she had a massive tantrum on the floor. Sarah got sad and wondered what had happened to her daughter. She couldn't phone to find out because then her plan would be ruined and they would know that she was watching. Then Derek came to the frame and things took a strange turn. Derek was comforting Maddie while Melissa just stood to the side, looking upset. It seems like Maddie didn't want Melissa anywhere near her. Now Sarah was panicking. Had Melissa done something to her daughter that made her upset? She continued to watch, and then Derek put his arms around Melissa and hugged both of them. Sarah's heart dropped. He was just comforting them both because they were upset, she thought. Surely there was no harm in that. He was just being a gentleman. Sarah decided to not watch any further. She needed to remove herself from what she just saw. She called her friends to arrange dinner for that night. She needed some advice. She met up with them and had a much-needed conversation and time away from the house. She told them everything and what she had suspected. By the end of the night, she was wiping away tears as her friends convinced her that Derek was not being truthful to her and that she needed to investigate even more. Sarah couldn't believe her life had come to this. Everything was normal until Melissa came into their lives, and now even their daughter didn't like her anymore. What had she done by bringing this woman into their lives? Now she had nothing but problems on her hands. She decided to try one last time to catch them in the act. The next day, Melissa informed Sarah that she once again had to go to the doctor for a checkup. Sarah agreed and saw this as the perfect opportunity to spy on them. She took an hour off from work and followed them to the doctor's office. She was nervous because she didn't know what to expect. Then, as she sat in her car, she saw the three of them coming out Derek and Melissa holding hands and smiling. 
Sarah was devastated and angry at the same time. She jumped out of the car to confront both of them, but tried not to make a big scene because Maddie was there. She pulled Derek aside and spoke to him privately. That's why you wanted her to watch Maddie, so that you could be close to your mistress. Derek hung his head in shame. He knew he messed up. She asked him how long the affair had been going on and when he was going to tell her. But then Maddie shouted something at the top of her lungs, Mommy, Mommy, I'm going to be a big sister. It seems the affair had been going on for a very long time. Melissa was three months pregnant with Derek's child. Sarah couldn't contain her emotions and took Maddie and left. She thought back to the previous time that Derek went with her to the doctor. He did it because he knew she was pregnant. How could she be so blind? She immediately filed for divorce and Derek was civil enough to leave the house in a car with Sarah. They have joint custody of Maddie and Sarah, looks away in disgust every time she spots the new happy family. Disclaimer. In order to protect the privacy of those depicted, some names, locations, and identifying characteristics have been changed and are products of the author's imagination. Any resemblances to actual events or places or persons, living or dead, are entirely coincidental.